Hello there, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills and grow as a designer. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to draw the Google Chrome logo in Adobe Illustrator. So to start with, I've created a new artboard, 800 pixels wide and 800 pixels high. And I'm going to select the ellipse tool, I left click and hold shift to draw a circle. Now in the swatches palette, I've already made the four colors that make up the Google Chrome logo. So if I double click these in turn, you can see the RGB color values and use these if you'd like to follow along with the tutorial. So here's the blue. Feel free to pause the video and make a note of the RGB color values. And then you can add these into the color picker here and it will create those swatches. So we have the red, the yellow, and lastly, the green. So this circle is going to be blue anyway, so let's give this the color blue. Now we're going to go to Edit, Copy, Edit, Paste in Place, and just hold Shift and Alt and scale this up from the center. Now double click the color picker and just give this a color gray for now. And go to Object, Arrange, Center Back. Let's do this again edit copy, edit paste in place, hold shift and alt to scale this up and we'll give this another slightly darker shade of grey and go to object, arrange, center back. Now if we select the pen tool make sure that you have your smart guides turned on. Let's just zoom in slightly and you can see our smart guides nicely highlight different parts of our shapes. So if we left click and hold shift and just draw a line where our pen tool touches the edge of the circle. Now you'll see that it wants to draw another line. If we simply go to select, make a note of this shortcut and select deselect. So if you press command or control plus Y to go into preview mode, you'll see that we still have the line even though it's not visible. And this is actually easier in preview mode to draw these lines because as you draw them you can see them. So let's left click again and where this touches the edge of the circle just left click go to select and deselect. And we're just going to do one more and select deselect. So essentially we've created the main part of the Google Chrome logo. Now I'm just going to hold shift and select both the grey and the blue circle. Go to edit, copy, edit, paste in place, hold shift and use the right arrow key just to move this out of the way for now. And if we select over everything else left on our artboard, we can then select the live paint bucket tool and just click and we can start to color up different parts of the logo. You'll see with the red guides it highlights which area is selected and will be colored. So if we select our red swatch we can click and start applying color to the logo. And we can also use the direct selection tool to select that gray no, we can't, but we can make it white and we can select that inner circle and turn it blue. Okay, so for the most part, we've created all of the shapes that make up the Google logo. One thing that's left to do is add the shading inside each segment. So if we drag over everything on the artboard, go to object, lock and selection, just to make sure we don't move anything by mistake. Now we can left click, draw over these lines, so where the pen tool touches the edge of the circle, and we're just going to create a three-sided shape. And we can give this shape the color yellow again, and if we go to the color guide, we get some different shades of yellow. So we can select one darker, and we have something like this. We can then do the same again for the green, so we're just going to drag around, create that three-sided shape, 
select our green swatch and in the color guide go one darker. And again lastly for the red just with the pen tool creating that three-sided shape selecting our red swatch and then in the color guide selecting a shade darker. And what we can do now is hold shift to select all of these and we can bring the opacity down in the transparency palette. So let's go for 20%. And then what we can do is use the direct selection tool just to give this gray circle the white color that it's supposed to have. Drag over both of these circles outside of our artboard, go to object, arrange, bring to front, and then hold shift and now use the left arrow key to nudge this back in. And if done correctly, it will line up exactly where the other two circles were originally. And lastly, we're just going to go to object, unlock all, drag over everything, go to object, group, and select align to artboard and we can now align this horizontally and vertically on our artboard. And there we go, we've created the Google Chrome logo in Adobe Illustrator. As always guys, please feel free to leave any questions or comments below, like this video if you enjoyed it, take care and I'll see you next time.